Well, Italy not having the best uh, track record uh, in terms of uh, regulations has now undergone uh, some significant reforms, uh, most relevantly in the uh, uh, enforcement proceedings, uh, uh, which has been uh, uh, changed uh, very recently in August 2015, implementing uh, new provisions with the aim to accelerate these enforcement proceedings and to render those proceedings more transparent. Uh, so this will certainly uh, provide investors with uh, more confidence in the Italian judicial system and uh, therefore also create uh, hopefully a larger pool of uh, investors uh, in uh, upcoming NPL transactions, uh, which we believe will in 2016 uh, be uh, a large part of the market and will exceed uh, 20 billion in volume uh, uh, of uh, transactions. Um, and in addition, also the insolvency law has been uh, uh, changed, uh, also there with an aim to accelerate the insolvency proceeding and uh, to allow the creditor to uh, recover a larger amount of uh, money in a shorter uh, period of uh, time. Uh, additional reforms uh, regard uh, the uh, establishment of new investment vehicles, such as the uh, CCAF, which is a uh, non-listed regulated uh, corporate vehicle. Uh, which, however, from a tax point of view, is uh, compared uh, to a uh, real estate investment fund and therefore exempt uh, from uh, corporate taxes. And uh, so, in my opinion, in the future, we will certainly see the CCAF uh, as a investment vehicle used by foreign uh, or international uh, real estate funds.